What's up guys, it is Josh coming at you from RideMotos.com and we are here with Foresight Helmet. So we were walking by and I literally stopped in my tracks because we have a full carbon fiber helmet with an integrated action camera, a heads up display, integrated Harman Kardon speakers. I mean, this helmet is a crazy smart helmet. And so wanted to bring you guys an interview with the sales director here at Foresight Helmet where we talk through all of the different features that the helmet has and where they've been in the market and where you guys can most importantly pick one of these helmets out. All right, guys, well, we are here at Foresight. We are here with the sales director, Dylan. Man, this company is absolutely amazing. So we were just walking by and saw this beautiful carbon fiber helmet, but then started to look a little closer and I saw integrated action cam. Then I saw a heads up kind of display thing. Would you talk about this helmet and what makes this helmet unique? Yeah, yeah, sure. So um, we've been in market since 2019. Um, as you said, we're from Sydney, Australia. Uh, and we're just in the process of launching now in the US with the support of Tucker Power Sports. So uh, yeah, the Mark 1S is our helmet. Um, it's actually our second gen. Uh, so the Mark 1 we released back in 2019. Um, got around 1,500 of those out the door before COVID hit. Good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So common theme throughout the uh, power sports industry. Uh, and then yeah, while we were waiting for more parts for the next 18 months, uh, we were able to work with that kind of cornerstone community of early adopters to really double down on improving the back end, the software that's kind of the, really the smarts of the platform. Uh, but we also identified a whole bunch of areas for improvement on the shell itself, uh, which we released in the Mark 1S um, just last year. So yeah, um, the most important thing we like to stress about the helmet is it's actually a good helmet. So I think that's good. So it's not just a stunt item that you're going to have a good fancy camera, but doesn't protect you. Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, a lot of other companies that have developed, you know, concepts and prototypes. I mean, no one's really gotten one off the ground and had it certified and reached mass production. But, you know, if you had a look at those helmets, the helmet itself is lacking. And I mean, regardless of how much money you're spending, it's really important that you've got a well performing, safe motorcycle helmet. So full carbon fiber, uh, very lightweight. Um, they're around 1,500 uh, grams in Australia. I think it's like three and a half pounds, yeah. um, even with all the tech. Um, it's got all the premium trimmings you would expect from a high-end helmet. So as I said, carbon fiber, uh, really nicely finished. Uh, we do Pinlock Max Vision 120 anti-fog, so it's the absolute best that they offer. Um, the interior liner um, is super nice, so 3D formed foam. It is. I mean, I tried on this helmet just before we started recording. And I mean, so I'm I'm team showy. All my helmets are showy. And so I'm used to kind of that premium quality. And honestly, when I tried on this helmet, I didn't feel like it was lacking at all. I mean, it felt like, okay, that is a very, very premium helmet. Really nice feeling. Yeah, yeah. I actually used to wear a showy X-Spirit 3. I think you guys call it the X-14 here, the race helmet. And um, yeah, with this new padding, it actually fits really similar um, to that helmet. So yeah, really contoured fit, um, nice materials. Uh, one piece kind of neck roll design as well. So carbon fiber lids can tend to be um, a little bit noisier just because they're a less dense material. Sure. So that kind of just helps create a nice tight seal around the neck and, and keep the noise down. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice place for your head and it's gonna do a great job uh, in an accident. Uh, in terms of smart features, you kind of covered them already, but yeah, there's three. It's It's loaded, I yeah. mean, man. Yeah, yeah, so integrated camera up front. Uh, we've actually got some race footage playing there. So. We sponsor a couple of guys in the Australian Superbike Championship back home. Um, so you can, you know, because it's fully certified and integrated from the factory, you can take it on a racetrack. Um, you know, you haven't got anything hanging off. It's not, no risk and an impact. So you hear that? All you guys that race on tracks in the United States and they tell you to take your chin mounts off your helmet, no more, because this is fully integrated right into the helmet itself. Yeah, yeah. If you go on YouTube Foresight, um, there's a load of track footage you can see online. But um, yes, yeah, so that's the camera. We do uh, Harman Kardon audio as well. So uh, we're all kind of music buffs at Foresight. So it's a really dialed in audio experience. So, you know, if you get a center or a cardo and go and stick that on another helmet, you're kind of retrofitting something into it that wasn't really designed to be there in the first place. Whereas we do the hardware, um, the audio, the software tuning all in one. So um, yeah, we're pretty confident when we say it's some of the best in-helmet audio on the market. Um, two microphones up front, um, so you can hear it captures exhaust noise for your videos really well. Uh, really good at isolating wind noise and boosting vocal clarity for you know phone calls and communications. Uh, and then yeah, the peripheral LED display as well. So can you talk a little bit about what that is? So peripheral LED display, what does that look like on a motorcycle? 
Yeah, so, I mean, most of the time it doesn't look like anything. That's the most important part. So um, it's kind of meant to combat the idea of a heads-up display. So, I mean, anyone riding a motorcycle for any reasonable amount of time understands how important it is that you focus on the road and you're not kind of adjusting your field of vision and looking around. So, um, yeah, peripheral is the key word. It's just sits under your direct line of sight. It's just a solid strip of diffused LED light. But yeah, most of the time it's not doing anything. And then when you need it, you get an audio cue as well. And um, yeah, for example, it'll let you know when there's police coming up ahead, we get that information from Waze, uh, speed cameras, um, hazards as well. So uh, in Sydney, where we're from, we've had a lot of rain in the last six months and um, there's potholes everywhere. So wow. all of that data gets kind of captured online we pull it into the app. So when you're riding down the road, it'll say warning pothole reported in 500 meters and you're just aware of it. So you can sort of keep an eye out and take evasive action if you need to. It for me was the selling point as I tried on the helmet. The audio quality is amazing. The helmet felt so premium. The action camera is a really cool feature, but that heads up display and just that thin little bar. I mean, it didn't impede on any of your vision, which I thought was amazing, but it is bright enough to where it clearly shows you what turn you need to take next. I mean, for me, as soon as I saw that, I told you guys, take my money, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, non-distracting is, is what we're all about. Um, the helmet comes with a, a Bluetooth controller as well, so just in that vein, um, you can sort of interact with the smart functionality on the fly. We don't want people messing with phones and trying to fiddle with buttons and that kind of thing. So, yeah. Got it. Well, guys, this is an amazing helmet. It comes in a matte carbon as well as a glossy carbon. You can be on the lookout for this helmet everywhere that helmets are sold in the United States. Where can people go to find this helmet right now? Um, yes, yeah, so as I said, uh, we're distributing exclusively through uh, Tucker Power Sports, and our first container arrives in their warehouse next month. So, um, yeah, we had a, a big seminar with all of their dealers and reps yesterday. Um, so they're all really keen. Um, I'm sure dealers uh, across the country are going to be hassled by their Tucker reps over the coming week. But um, yeah, as we sign up dealers, um, we'll be adding them as install locations on our website. So um, yeah, if you're a dealer, ask your uh, local Tucker rep. If you're a, a customer, maybe just go in and ask your local dealership and yep. if they haven't heard of it. I'm assuming follow you guys on social. You guys will be posting all about it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're very active on Instagram uh, and Facebook. So it's just Foresight Helmets on Instagram. Uh, on YouTube as well. So uh, we're big on content. Um, we're always sort of doing, you know, little vlogs or short films or out shooting. So if you uh, YouTube Foresight, you can scroll for days. There's reviews, there's customer testimonials. There's a lot of content out there. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Yeah. Well, all right, guys, there you have it. There is the official Foresight helmet review that we presented to you guys from AIM Expo in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, I'm so excited to see the launch of these helmets in the United States. As mentioned in the video, these are going to be distributed from Tucker Power Sports. So if you're interested in picking up one of these helmets, go to their website at Foresight Helmets, follow them on social media. And hey, if you guys have liked this video, if you have appreciated the content, I would love if you could like this actual video, subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't checked it out yet, please be sure to go visit Ride Motos. That is www.ridemotos.com or at Ride Motos Official on social media. We're on Instagram, we're on YouTube, anywhere that you get your content. And we are going to be putting out tons of videos like this, interviews of product, motorcycles, lifestyle content. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until we meet again, peace.